don't understand the farm business. Oh, look, look at it like that, right? And just draw the brush. You see the way that the direction of the brush is? Okay. No, just transfer it onto the page. That's it. <laughs> Try not to draw outlines because you don't need to when you're painting. Just think of it as lights and darks and not, not sort of outlines. And this nose is a bit sort of like an outline at the moment, so. Bring it that back. That nose looks like he needs nose surgery. I know, so that's why we're going to try and bring it back a bit. My thing stand that. Yeah, the, it's the tone of his face, perfect. That's good. Yeah, she did it straight on. Hang on, did we have help from Sir? Well, you had help from Sir. I didn't have help from Sir. I didn't have help from Sir. I didn't have help from Sir either. <laughs> Nobody knew about abstraction, nobody knew that painters could just slap paint on and really get into it and not have to worry about every little minor detail of a building or a scene. This is just taking it one step further out there. He was out there at the time, he was a real pioneer and this shows it. And what was it that drew you to that big bottom? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit cheeky, isn't it? <laughs> Our panel of judges is made up of professional artist and all-round good guy, Christian Furr. Nice big mirror. Yeah. David, you're cramping the style, do you mind? Ladies and gentlemen, court is in session. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You've got five minutes to make notes and no sketching. I'm going to sentence you to 10 years hard labour for my face because it looks like a balloon there. <laughs> she's been to the dentist and she's had her abscess removed. <laughs> and doesn't she look better for it? <laughs> a lot of my works have been inspired by songs and uh, concerts. I remember going to a pulp concert and one song just suddenly had this image in my head and I thought, I've got to do that. And that was the, uh, the self-portrait with my wife, which was triggered by a song. Christian is the youngest person to have ever painted the Queen. I own several of his pieces and I'm honoured that he agreed to do this for me today. Mm. This looks a bit like a, a pipe cleaner here. Well, it's added like the joint either. Well, that's better. I think that's quite scary. I hope there's no kids watching this. What are these? Those are boobs. <laughs> they look like fried eggs. I know. I'd rub it out and start again, I think. First five guys to go up, Christian gave them some props. And then he said, uh, gentlemen, drop your clothes at your feet. Don't stop. These are dynamic poses. This is not a female, feminine, reclining pose. This is about dynamism. Roughly got the, the, the figure in the right position, so that's great. No mucking about, please. You please keep your poses. Seth. I'm fine. Seth was, you know, playing with his private parts and I found it quite distracting, but eventually, you know, he behaved himself. What I always do to get an objective look at something is turn the picture upside down. Yeah. OK? So if we turn it upside down, turn the, pic the photograph upside down, and then look at it in an objective way, yeah. you get a different perspective. It's not a face anymore, it's just shapes. Just keep the foundation of what you've got, the structure of the face, mm -hmm. and then work into that. Because if you keep working, it's going to get it's very muddy. muddy. It's going to get darker and darker. Yeah, you're going to end muddy. up with a baboon, I think. Do you, know, do you know what? This, this could surprise us. It could you... surprise you, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so legible, we just need a cosmetic surgeon. <laughs> Have you got a very large rubber? <laughs> Where's the shredder? 